What is good internet? It is Spirit of Paradox here and welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be continuing Ultimate Black Panther issue number 4 and things get really spicy in this issue. But before we start, if you guys are fans of the Ultimate Universe, we cover both the old and the new on the channel, so make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Let's begin. The story begins with Queen Okoye giving a speech to the people of Wakanda. I have heard from our king. Soon he will be back among us. He has revelations about this war, about our enemies, about what they seek, and how we can bring them humble before justice. I know Wakanda has a fear it has not known for many generations. But the ones responsible for the death of our great King T'Chaka are yet to be found. But do not lose faith. Do not make yourselves accustomed to fear. King T'Challa will come soon. We must keep faith in his strength. We must be strong to receive him. Wakanda forever, as the crowd cheers forever in his name. But Shuri says, you lied, my queen. But I understand why. I gave them what they needed, Shuri. Faith. Faith I do not have. You have not gotten word from T'Challa in weeks. But that does not mean he is dead. I have no idea what it means, but we have Wakanda tightening like a rope and not clutching itself. There are more spies among us. Every instinct I have says it so. We need to root them out. I will, says Shuri, and you need rest. Indeed I do. For tomorrow, more faith will be needed. T'Challa will return. We will find that assassin, and we will end Konshu and Ra's aggression. <laughs> Perhaps you should be the one to speak to Wakanda. You almost convinced me, Shuri. Not me, Okoye. You are their queen. Queen Okoye is sleeping in her bed. And then she notices some liquid dropping on her face. And then she realises it's sweat. And this is where shit's about to go down. An assassin who was sent by Konshu and Ra attempts to kill Queen Okoye as she was sleeping. But luckily for Queen Okoye she jumps out of the way just in time. Looking at this character's design, you can really see heavily based on Assassin's Creed and some of the original Moon Knight. The Assassin attempts to swing her giant sword at the Queen, but luckily, Shuri gets involved into the fight and knocks the Assassin off course of killing the Queen. Shuri's attack sends the Assassin out of the window and falling to the ground. Stay here, my queen. I will end this tonight. And then we see Shuri jumping out of the window, going after the assassin, ready for battle. As Shuri makes it to street level, she spots a trail of blood and follows it. End of the line. As Shuri has found the assassin bleeding out in an alleyway, but she says to her, End of Wakanda, as she states a spell, Ishwatu. Her eyes glow green, causing Shuri to get a headache and scream. As Shuri is disorientated, the assassin makes her attempt to take her out. You thought the gods would let this place rain? As she kicks and fights Shuri. You think this is a kingdom? Wakanda is a scar. I was raised believing in all of your lies. Konshu found me blind, and now I see. Your stance, your Adora Malaje, 
as Shuri is trying to get her words out, and then we see the assassin kick her in the face. Once. Why betray us? There is a greater power in the upper and lower kingdoms than you fools know. You raised me to be a warrior. Ra and Khonshu will make me a god. As we see the assassin has Shuri dead to rights and tries to strike her down with her sword. As the assassin tries to deal the final blow, she gets stopped. Two attacks hit both of her hands and she is disorientated and screams, Who? Then she gets knocked over, and the person says, You will not harm the queen, and you will not harm my blood, as we see King T'Challa fully decked out in his ultimate Black Panther suit, and then activates a device. We'll talk later, you and I, as we see him use it, and shocks this assassin, knocking her out. T'Challa tends to his sister. Brother, so you are alive. Alive and aware. As they both look at the assassin, Shuri tells T'Challa. She was Dora Malaje, spoke of Khonshu. They are in our ranks. Every infection has a cure. The voodoo card will probe her mind and then we'll rid the kingdom of the disease. But before they could do that, the assassin starts to glow with light from out of her eyes and mouth. Brother, what is goddess? And then we see the assassin begins to disintegrate and leaving them with no evidence. In the next page, we go to the temple of Ra, Location unknown. Your malage failed. We wanted death, but fear will be enough. You play with Wakanda, Ra. You underestimate them. Hardly. Their king is dead. They fear us in their ranks. Their strength was their safety, Conchu, and we have taken it from them. You underestimate T'Challa, says Khonshu. I estimate him accurately. He knows our names, not what we are. He knows we seek power, but he does not understand what power that is. And he still believes in his god, his withering, impotent gods. And when the people turn on their kings, and see their fear, they will lose their will. When kings turn to their gods and see weakness, they lose everything. I have tired of playing with spies and assassins. Gather the willing. We will destroy the Wakanda by light of the moon. As we return to T'Challa, Queen Nkoye is not happy with him. But you could have told me. You are the king, and your king does as he wants. But you are my husband, and I deserve to know if you are dead or alive. I have to stand before all of the people who believe in us, who believe in Wakanda, and I had to tell them that you were protecting us. I even had to lie. I was protecting us. As was I protected tonight, I should have been there. No, I am not a scared girl, T'Challa. I don't need you to watch over me. I need you to tell me the truth. No more secrets, not between us. No more secrets. These men, Ra and Khonshu, they believe they are gods. And I know what they want, and it frightens me, my queen. Everything is about to change, for Wakanda, for Africa itself. Knowledge of our world is just shadows cast on a wall, 
and I have seen the light that cast them. In the next page, we see that Queen Okoye is walking towards the Temple of the Sacred Dead. We need a circle of trust, the smallest circle. In the morning, just before dawn, you will meet me in the Temple of the Sacred Dead. You will tell no one where you go. Move in silence. Tell the Dora Malaje nothing. Tell the Voodoo Khan nothing. Tell Paxol and Anod nothing. Silence, Okoye. Trust no one. Trust no one but who you will see standing next to me. And then we find out. My queen, meet my circle of force. This is Eric Killmonger and Storm. They are friends of mine of Wakanda, and now they are the only people we can trust. And as we see here, this is the secret circle that T'Challa has built with his accompanying members and wants his wife to join them. And this is where Ultimate Black Panther issue number four ends. So that was Ultimate Black Panther issue number four. And I do enjoy this issue, but I did have one gripe with it. I must admit, I'm not actually a big fan on the new depiction of Moon Knight or Khonshu. In, in my opinion, this is not what I ask for or want from Moon Knight in general. Like, when I think of Moon Knight, I think of Mark Spector. It's no different to thinking like Spider-Man, Peter Parker... Captain America, Steve Rogers, or Bruce Banner is the Hulk. Mark Spector is Moon Knight. And I don't want to see some next black man pretending to be Moon Knight. I want to see Mark Spector. But other than that, I really did like this issue. It really did um, fill up the gaps between last issue. And especially with that cliffhanger. We still want to know what that giant green hologram was. But it seems like we're about to get that in the next issue. And it seems like we're going to get something big about to happen. Especially when Ra said, gather the willing. They're going to destroy the Wakanda with the light of the moon. So I want to see how that goes. So overall folks, I really did enjoy this one and I do recommend it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did you like this issue? Did you not? You know what to do in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care.